everyone. Oh my god, Tim's recording another Either Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon video. Yes, he is. Welcome back, everyone. So, in the last episode, we made our way up to the Moonmark Tower level 3. And here, we are fighting an army of guardian demons. They're not so difficult, other than there is an army of them. And magic doesn't seem to work on them at all. Our fireballs, magic missiles, lightning bolts, they, they're just not doing anything to them. And so we have to rely on our frontline fighters and our m missile weapons to do all the work. Poor Roikvis, who can't really contribute to these battles very much. But we've discovered the power of the haste spell. And so as long as we have that available to us, we should be able to fight our way through these things. Good for the game designers forcing me to figure out how to solve this puzzle. In any case, uh, we don't have to actually do a summary other than, I suppose, that and one more thing. We leveled up slightly with a few of our spellcasters, and I have changed some of the spells that our spellcasters have memorized, in particular the clerical spells for Roikvis and Alexander. Roikvis gained another clerical level and has picked up a few lower level spells. I think he gained a first level and a third level spell. Maybe a third level and a, a second level. Sorry, first level and second level. And a fifth level spell, our first fifth level. And I decided to give him true seeing. Alexander has done the same and he has cure critical wounds. Mm, let's see if I can remember how much they heal. Cure Light Wounds is a D8, so 1 through 8 hit points. Cure Serious is, I think, 3 through... I mean, the books. The book I would need is right over here. One second. Take out my second edition player's handbook and look up how much Cure Serious Wounds heals. Really quick. I should have done this beforehand. But now, now we all get to, to, to listen to me not do it. <laughs> How much does Cure Serious Wounds heal in 2nd edition? It's a 4th level cleric spell. Here it is. Really? Okay. It heals 3 through 17 damage. That's pitiful. God, that's awful. <laughs> it's awful. And Cure Critical heals... 6 through 26. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, that is so not impressive. When you get smacked around for, like, 30 hit points of damage, those statistically might heal for half of that. Probably less. God. That's that's awful. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> I haven't had to look at the base 2nd edition Dungeons and Dragons rule set in a long time. Because I, of course, use my own. Alright, so, let's get started. First, we'll cast a Create Food. And then, we should probably get a Protection from Evil. Roikvis can use an... Ah... Uh... We'll use a single aid. Oops, that was the wrong target. I meant to cast it on Amber. It's the phantom hit points I want. All 1d8 of them. Okay. Roikvis has prayed extra hard and was able to figure out a way to reach out to his god to gain the knowledge about what we're supposed to do in this chamber. There is supposedly some wall that we are able to interact with here. Though I don't know where it is located. So we're going to have to look around carefully for it. Hmm. I might be wrong. <laughs> this is a wall of force. Oh, the wall shutters and cracks slightly. Okay. Maybe we can actually 
bash it open. Oh! I thought this was like a wall of force. Blocking our way to get this item. What do we have here? Starfire. Didn't the halfling mention this thing to us at some point? Looks like he didn't get it. Made scroll of stone to flesh. Interesting. Very interesting for Roikvis. Oh man. And we, he's not high enough level to mesmerize it either. And won't be for at least another level. At least what? Well, obviously one more, but probably two more. So we can't actually unpetrify someone via a spell with him. Okay. So. Starfire is likely used in this device, right? So let's save the game. And do this. I guess we, I could off screen fight the guardian demon army until we're all at least level 10 in all of our stats. I uh, said, so, uh, in our, our classes, but I don't like generally farming off screen. We're probably very close to being level 10 on the few of the characters who are not quite there since we've gotten level 10 on a few others, but let's push on at the moment. We can always come back here. Probably. <laughs> if we want to farm. Although it sounds like there's more guardian demons up ahead. And pits, from what I'm hearing. Hmm. After a moment of dizziness, a vision of Kelvin appears in your mind. My friends, Dran has found you. He is now fashioning a mighty spell to destroy you. The spell he constructs will turn you to ash. Resurrection will be impossible. I have sensed his magic spell in its creation and believe I can aid you, but you must trust me. I will send forth the magical talisman. Take it and hold tight to it. When Then you must allow Dran's evil creatures beyond this door to kill you completely, so he loses his focus on your life's energies. This will disrupt his spell. This talisman has the power to resurrect your entire party after death from poison and wounds by combat, but not from the destructiveness of Dran's spell. Hurry now. Time grows short. Be brave, my friends. That's interesting. I guess Kelvin was able to reach out to us again. He was also able to somehow send us something directly. Last time, he was only able to teleport us kind of near the tower, not inside of it. But I can't take this amulet off of my hand now that I've equipped it. Do we have a remove curse spell? Bauble taken. This is not a magical amulet that will save us from death. It is instead <laughs> a trap. Wait! The west wall appears to be an illusion. Amber, thank you. That was not Kelvin who reached out to us to tell us about what was waiting for us up ahead. That was someone else. Another polished shield. So we're short just one single shield. A parchment.
Interesting. I don't like the look of that death room. Odds are we haven't found that yet. Wakefist will hold on to this and try to memorize what it looks like for the, for the group. And as for the last thing, Jonas Cloak. What is this? Plus two, Jonas Cloak. Mm. I doubt it's better than any of the current items we're wearing. The, I don't know what other special properties this possesses. Looks very pretty. But I'm guessing it's not going to be better than, say, the banded mail we have. Wow. No, it is not. Uh, Quicker Hackers will take it. He'll pawn it off when we, when we eventually, if we manage to get out of this place, he'll, he'll vendor it to some place. All right. Well, we know up ahead is not what we're looking for in terms of uh, letting the creatures kill us. So we'll kill them instead. Although... We'll stay here to tank these things. Oh my god. Fireball actually does work on them? I figured I, I may as well try to cast some spells. Since it doesn't hurt us to cast it other than the few seconds it takes for the, uh... For it to go on cooldown. Oh, what was that? Oh, are those cause light wounds, Alexander? Those are. Okay, we have to fix that. A tooth was found. Calandra, you'll take that as your part barbarian girl. Alexandra can get back. You know, Alexander can use... Well, no, he'll use Flame Blade if it comes down to fighting something. I made lots of... So watching my previous video off screen, uh, before I've uploaded it, man, I made lots of mistakes in the last episode. I should have tried all sorts of spells rather than just Lightning and, uh, lightning and uh, Ice Storm and Magic Missile. But, uh... oh, it's another... It's, wait, we have another sling? Oh, no, I just equipped it in your hand. Okay, we can take it off, which means it's not cursed. We'll want to identify this. Lots of mistakes, uh, tactic-wise, were made last episode. I am probably, I'm very disappointed in myself. And I was very harsh on the game. Uh, I, I do kind of don't, I don't like that the entire army respawned <laughs> and forced me to fight again. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. And we did manage to do it, so I shouldn't complain. If we can do it, that's good experience points. But it was still a bit annoying. Anyway, let's uh, let's fix Alexander's first level spells. Oh, I want him to... So, although it doesn't look like we'll ever need a bless ever again, I'm still going to have him mes memorize or pray for one of them. Just to be sure. Rest, everyone will heal Scavy. Get another cure. Uh, sorry, create food going, and then off we go. Was exciting, actually, to fight that the group, the army, the first time. We almost did it without losing an elf. Once again, I don't know if we're going to be back down at the cleric level of the tower. And if we're not, then we can't get an elf back on their feet again should we lose one. So not even half elves to my recollection can be raised from the dead in second edition Dozen of Dragons. So losing Coker Hekus is permanent. Losing Roikvis is permanent, as is Amber. You know, we can resurrect Scavi, Calandra, there's Calandra and Alexander, but that's it, so. 
A ferocious cre oh creature skull. By the way, we should identify. Oh, actually, let's cast a detect magic first. It is magical. Uh, sure, Kukuhekas, you can be the one to identify it. Plus one sling. Well, it's better than a not magical sling. So Alexander will use it. And it looks like that tooth is used right here. So, wow, we got it from this room and it's used in this room. You fools! Do you dare think you could defeat me with your paltry magic and incompetent fighting skills? I will be a god, and you will be crushed beneath my boots. Oh, little ones, you have only begun to feel my wrath. You should have taken my offer of a merciful death when I offered it to you. Now it is too late for you. The very, very first time I did this, way back in the mid-1990s or so, I did what Dran wants you to do. And after you do it, you let the creatures kill you. Dran shows up. Like, Kelvin shows up and laughs. And then it changes to Dran. And he says, if I knew it was like something, he'll say something like, if I knew it was that easy, I would have done this a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man, did I feel like an idiot. But I was watching him speak this time, and I don't notice anything about the image that would make me think it's Kelvin. Unless the background, you know, I don't actually, I don't remember now. It just, just literally happened, I don't remember. The background, was that background in Kelvin's normally? But this time it was here in the tower? I'll have to double check. If I can remember to do that later. I actually was going to let him kill us here if I could not figure out what that medallion was. If it was magical and said, like, I'm the resurrection, I totally would have done it. But... It's not. That's interesting. So the game does give you the chance to tell that you're being lied to. At least through identification of the item before you walk in here. That's well done, game designers. I hear more pits. A not magical rock. We'll probably need that for a puzzle then. We must have faith in our abilities to combat these evil minions. We'll pray for guidance. Thank you, Alexander. We will need that. Quite literally, we'll have to cast a prayer spell on us. Hmm. <laughs> Don't do that! Why do you do that? <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, we can step on these and depress them. Uh, let's assume... Probably a mistake, we throw the rock? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we threw the rock through that teleporter. Oh, and it came back here. Okay. And now that teleporter is gone. Interesting. And now that one's gone. Oh, stepping on the pressure plates must make them vanish.
these ones we can't hack through. Okay. So. Oh no, we have to throw more things, I think. Okay, we have to throw more things. So... All right, so let's let's do it. Or try to. I don't know how I'm supposed to get it on all of these spots. Okay. Well, actually, I do. All right, so that's another one. Let's see. What else do we not need? I guess the food? I guess the food. Oh, Tim, you, that food, yeah, landed at the same exact spot. Hmm. Oh, I see how this works. This is still going to be very tricky. Oh, no, I don't see how it works. Oh, maybe now because this is depressed, it will now... Oh, my goodness. We might have to reload this, but we're going to keep trying. Let's see. Okay, so that's all of those depressed. Now we try this side. Right, so that activates that teleporter. This says... This one being stepped on says put it there, whatever we throw, right? So let's see. Good. All right, now we need that one stepped on. Good, and now we need this one stepped on. I assume this is what we need to do. Mm, we're out of food. Okay, then I guess we'll throw the glass sphere. We lost all the things we threw, though, to open this gate. All right, well, so be it. We didn't bring any other trash stuff with us. So we'll have to keep our eyes open for potential garbage for the future. Good God, if you didn't bring a cleric with you to be able to create food, this would be a nightmare to try to decide what you're going to get rid of. I guess we could get rid of all those normal arrows that I'm looking at what we have in Amber's quiver. So we'll do that next time. If we find more food, we'll hold on to it. Why don't we prepare for fighting? And let's use a invisibility. I mean, that doesn't end anyway, so. Oh, we're going back down? All right, well, let's do it. Let's also prepare for this. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Can we... Is there, like, a normal invisibility that we have? A new floor. Seems so safe for the first few seconds that we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not all like uh What was the, what's the other game of this sort I've been I was recording a year ago and then stopped. Actually I te technically I, I have the recording. I have my attempt at beating the game all recorded. I just have to add my voice to it. What was it called? I can't remember now. 
Man, I can't remember. I guess I could go Alt-Tab and look very quickly. Dungeon Hack. Dungeon Hack is it. Okay, well, let's move on. We'll get... Oh, you know what we also should be doing, by the way? We should be casting that True Seeing spell. We memorized it. We should use it. It gives us, I believe, an identify effect, but also I believe it should show us things up on this, uh, our view. Should no longer, they're like invisible, illusionary walls should now be opened to us. Like, we won't even notice that they're illusionary. Oh no. What is this nonsense? Okay. Interesting. There must be a very good reason why that's here. Are we do we have to pass that test? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. One, two, there. No. So we have to go up and to the left. All right. Let's do this. So let's also get some aids. Haha. <laughs> on our group. At least on those two. Here we go. Right, that wasn't so bad. I'm assuming there was nothing on the walls for us to interact with, in the form of buttons or the like. We move here, we fall. We move there. Okay, we move here, 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 forward. Maybe we can actually move fast on the right side. Had to be really quick, though. Had to be really quick, though. Okay, we'll try going right instead of left st to start, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. If we move here, 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 here. So we, we definitely can't go straight, because if I move here, that, yeah, that sucks us down a pit. Okay, so we have to go right or left. Maybe it is to the left we go. We move one to the left, up one, up one. All right, we'll go left. Here we go. Up, here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Okay, not bad. I'm a, oh, that felt weird. No, okay. It, it still felt weird, <laughs> but we were fine. Back downstairs again? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> lots and lots of saving the game. Lots and lots of saving the game. Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. 
A teleporter, huh? And nothing else here? A ring. It is magical. We'll identify it. Featherfall. Quokorhekus or Amber should have this. There's a key here, but I don't want to take the last thing in that alcove for fear of it setting off a trap. We'll put a neutralized poison scroll. I can't. Okay, we take it. Crystal key. Add it to your key ring, Amber. Nothing obvious on the walls. None of the, no one in the groups has anything to say. Just, they're absolutely resolute at the moment, not speaking very much amongst themselves, sealing themselves for whatever lies ahead, which is another puzzle room. Oh, we came from here originally. We're back here again. Okay. Oh my goodness. I forgot all about this particular way up. How about that? Well, we'll we'll let's we'll try this first. I'm assuming that we're not going to be able to pick either of these locks. No. Okay. So, uh, this looks like a shell key. Mechanism partially works. And this is a crystal key, I'm guessing? Okay. Our aid spells have expired. I guess we'll recast them. Save the game, and up we go. Nice. So we finished Moonmark Tower ooh, level three. So up we go. Oh god, 20 damage. What are those things? I I so you guys should know that when when I when I'm playing the game, as with most games, what I'm looking at is vastly different from what you guys are are probably looking at. I'm trying to look around at uh, spells, where my cursor is, making sure I'm trying to select the right characters and something of the sort. I'm almost never looking down here on the text to see what's attacking us at all, ever. <laughs> okay, those hurt, but we were able to kill both of them. We'll use all of our cure light wounds on Scavy. Okay. Oh wow! All right. So, do uh, a part me something to rest here, but we'll push upwards. Upwards. We'll take the teleporter, and see where this takes us.
I have a bad feeling about this, though. Hmm. The way back down. I wonder if these ghost servants of Drans... <laughs> ...are fighting the souls people he has tortured and killed. I can do this all day, whatever you are. Good God, dude. If that's the case, Kalandra, hopefully it's not the case. They are, they were, it must have been so much horrible agony to come back as these monstrous spirits. Oh, I don't, I don't remember there being any level drain in this game. So I don't think they're wraiths or specters. Yes, it is a bit weird how I'm doing this, but this is also the most effective way to kill them by this sidestepping. And of course, we save a lot of time by not having anyone else use their missile weapons if we don't need to. I know, I know what's ahead of us. Unless I am mistaken, this is the Medusa's area we are about to walk into, I think. This is going to be very tricky to do. I think we just have to be holding one of these. But we're short one. We'll, have to, we'll hope Alexander's good saving throws will indeed save him from this. I guard the entrance to the Medusa's labyrinth. I am here to warn you of the danger which lies beyond. The walls of the labyrinth are magical, shifting and changing. They seal and reveal snake-like passageways before your eyes. Beware the tortured souls who roam the halls, for it has been a long time since they have had visitors. You are not ready. You must possess the six enchanted shields. Only then do you stand a chance. Nevertheless, I will grant you passage to the Great Hall beyond. Are you sure you wish to enter? Wow, and a bunch of spells just expired immediately. Okay, so if the game's warning us that we need all six, and we're missing one, Let's see if we can find it. I will hope it is someplace up here where we haven't been, as opposed to actually being someplace else, uh, a floor below us. One, two, three, four. We have five. Can we go into this room? We cannot. Oh, man. So we've missed one. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Where did I miss it? All right. So... I will have to check online because I haven't drawn a map to figure out where I might have left a shield. 
and they're anywhere, I think, in Moonmark Tower. Anywhere. Right, well, rather, they're in particular places, but I don't know where those places are. So let's rest up. And I'll be back, everyone. I'm going to go and check the spots, download some maps, and see if I can figure out where they're located. But we may have to check each of those locations to figure out where is the one we left behind. So, give me, uh, give me a few seconds, or, yeah, give me a few seconds. Actually, it'll be, well, it'll be, it'll be more, more like an hour or so for me. <laughs> but just seconds for you guys. Hey, everyone. All right. Uh, <laughs> seeking knowledge, uh, Reykvist has laid his hands on the mirrors and tried to figure out where other sources of similar magic would be inside the tower, which have led us back down to the first level of this tower. Poking about, Quaker Hekus was able to discover an illusionary wall in a room that we had been in prior. And a shut door waits us here, beyond a teleporter hidden behind that wall. And there is the mirror. I think we should probably make an exchange on the off chance this is a trap. I don't want to... No, we're just going to take it. Another polished shield. An image school of hold monster. Maybe Crooker Hekus can actually learn that spell. Oh, not memorize. Sorry, it would be scribe. He can actually mesmerize it too. On the off chance, we're the things, we're the thing that's key. Oh, no, 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 there's no way, uh, there's no other way out of here. All right, so let's, uh, let's go. I had to fight through the basilisks again to make it here. That was several reloads because poor Calandra kept getting turned to stone. So, this is the room that has the illusionary wall, and this is the illusionary wall. It is on the first floor. You'll come from this way. I don't remember what was in the here originally. There's two alcoves, and there's the illusionary wall across from uh, from them in the center. And now we go back up to level two. We'll fight back through the basilisks. We'll get back to where we were in preparation to go up another tower floor. But then we'll call it a session there. It didn't take me too long, maybe 20 minutes, to get to back to this spot, mostly because of the basilisk battles. Here's the disperse the magic spot we've been at before, and we'll have to refight through the basilisks again. Which is fine with me, because Roikvist can use fireballs and the like to get through this. Actually able to use oh some of our powerful magic. Just punch a hole through them. Okay, that was much easier to get out of here now that I had to kill like ten of them to get through that area to begin with. Alright, we're back at the sentry. We know how this works. Back up to the third floor. Back up to the fourth floor. Rather easy if you don't have to pass any of the tests. I'm sure Dron has a way to just to march up here without any concern. And then back to the room where we had the talking statue warning us that we'll want all six of these things. All right, guys, and we'll stop here. When we come back, it's time to do the Medusa maze. My memory of this is such that we have to actually lead Medusa onto pressure plates 
and then trap them there by shutting doors. I remember it being rather difficult to do. So be prepared for quite a bit of... Fairly leveled criticism. <laughs> Which is another way for me to phrase Tim's uh, complaining about things. So uh, see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.